In this case, we'll produce 100, starting in week 2 and finishing in week 3. But we only want to have 50 in safety stock, so shouldn't we only produce 90 so that PAB is 50 at the end of week 3? You're mostly right, but you're missing one thing. The production lot size is 100, so that's the minimum we'll do in one production run. This all sounds good, but why is it called gross requirements? Isn't that the demand forecast? Demand forecast is only used to talk about customer demand. Gross requirements, however, is used to mean what we plan to ship. In the MRP course, you saw how to explode the bill of materials bomb. DRP does the reverse. It implodes the requirements from each warehouse to determine the gross requirements. That is, how many comfort maxes are needed to ship. By imploding individual warehouse requirements, DRP is an input into the MPS.